Good morning. So uh, a little bit late starting, so I'll get straight into it. Um, working on Snippet Pixie. Um, so the last time I left it, um, I was having trouble um, getting, uh, oh, just wasted time basically <laughs> um, trying to get um, a add. Oh, in one place. Let's go. Where am I? Uh, let's go to the game. Uh, trying to get the add snippet button on the uh, list screen to kind of align with the search box. Um, and it turns out um, it was because of a component, because of the icon component. Uh, so now I've managed to get it aligned. I've also bumped up the uh, size a little bit as well so it's working now um i'll just show how i'll fix that and then we'll get on with uh, some little bit more development um so in the icon let's just uh, make that smaller uh, i basically uh we already had this div here um uh, and that's the problem it was what was happening was this was out of the sort of flex control um, and it was taking up the entire height. Um, so, um, taking up the entire height, um, and because it wasn't given any kind of uh, flex alignment properties, it was always just using the default of going to the top. Um, so, uh, I just had to basically make it targetable um, by adding in its own little class of its own. Um, making sure it's using display flex and setting the alignment to center so they could bring it back down because it always had height that meant um, it needed to be moved down into it. That was it. Um, and otherwise, um, the toolbar itself, um, just I think I just took off um, a flex. I had a um, flex one zero auto for resizing that I think I copied it across from the last thing I, I used and that was making it so that if I had um, so if I did something where there was no results what was happening was the entire toolbar was coming down into the middle and um, which we don't want so I just did that that's all I changed last night um, when I was watching some YouTube so we're now at a point where we have an add button, um, which works. Um, and let's add something here. Um, well, hope, let me just test that this, yeah, there's nothing, I can't do that. Uh, so if we do Weeble now, does that exist already? Yep. Uh, does Weeble wobble? Yep. <laughs> Interesting, I didn't even realize I had to add that. So let's go do something about that. So what I want is I want to be able to, yeah, um, basically edit and or delete these items. So that's my target for today. How are we going to do that? Um, we've got a little bit of a problem at the moment in that in this mode, I can't click on these things because that will actually paste it. So we need another icon and or way of interacting with these things. So let's do... Well, first of all, let's create a edit screen, which is, oh, actually, first of all, let's commit to what we've got here. So we're done. What changed? We changed that. 
add icon button. We added in Oh, that was just a fixing of that. Yeah, it's just the ad. Yeah, I've just basically tied it up a few bits and bobs as I've gone along. So that's fine. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay. Right, so what we want to do is something very similar to add snippet. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it as a new one. And I'm going to call it edit. Yep. So in here, Let's see what we're going to do. Um, we want a snippet to come in, I think. I think that's right. Yeah. And we probably hmm. Yeah, I was thinking I could override the ad snippet and just make a in there. Hmm. Maybe I'll just carry on. Uh, so what we're going to do is we need a new bit of text here. Bit snippet. suspect we'll need that and then what else so that's the text changed there uh, so we're going to come in we're going to show and edit we have an input with abbreviation as its title the value it's going to be the snippet I'm going to change things up a little bit here
snippet abbreviation. Uh, for the body, same again. The value is going to be the snippet body that we brought, that we brought in. Button, cancel and save OK. So when it comes in, update abbreviation error message. All right, so before we do that, let's just double check the handle, cancel and save. Handle cancel will just pop back to the list in this case. <clears throat> Uh, now, here, we look at that result. And do we even have an edit snippet thing yet we do not uh, and what about in dbus snippet pixie d i'm just gonna cut that off for the moment so i can see Yeah, we don't have anything there for edit or update. We've got add snippet. In fact, have we even got in the manager? That's a good point. Yeah, we do. We have two of these. Update snippet with abbreviation and update snippet with ID. Um, okay. Now we should have an ID, so that might be a safer way to go. But we don't have a wrapper for that at the moment. Um, so, hold on. Yeah. So, in the service. Yeah, we've got add. Expand, get, remove. Huh. Forgot I'd even added that. Now, of course, because uh, the client is able to use that. Okay, um, right, so things to do then. So the first thing we want to do is we want to update 
debug service. And we are going to add Oh, before I do that, what does it return? Update snippet with abbreviation. Okay, it's just returning an error. That's good to know. Okay, so it's either going to work or it's not. So in this case, we will take as our example, let's we'll take this. Let's go update snippet with ID. That's right, isn't it? Update snippet. Oh, yeah, it's this one I want to do. Yeah. And we expect a UUID and the full snippet. Um, we're doing it this way by having the ID separate, just in case there's a case where we want to update the ID as well, um, which is a possibility if we're trying to resolve some sort of conflict. Taking an ID and a snippet, and we should return just an error. In theory. So this is the interface. Um, and this is what we have to satisfy um, for the debus stuff to work. In theory. So now in the service, we're going to, which, what bit should we nick as a starting point? Don't want to return that. I think uh, we will take I guess we should just do add. It's close enough. I'm just cheating. And just uh, copy and paste in. So we'll do an update snippet with ID. Updates the snippet by the debus service. We are taking hmm. 
let's make sure I get the right one there. Okay, and we are returning just an error. So we're going to need a dbus version of the snippet to send, which is a good point. I don't care about receiving one. So we will do debus snippet is uh, snippet. Oh, no, I want debus debus service snippet. No, debus service. Ah. That's it, debus snippet. Snippet, snippet, that's it. Uh, trying to remember my own syntax now. Why is that a problem? Oh, okay, an error. Okay, so in this case we also have I've got to do the same as I did on paste where the call could fail and I have a call error. because I'm not actually returning any data. I, do, I still need something back. Otherwise the dbus is not happy at all. So we're going to pass in an ID. Now we need to switch that up as well. Um, well, that's interesting. I haven't done that before. It's just a string. I was thinking whether I need to add a function here to do um, like a dbus id but I mean it's so simple I don't think I do I'll just make it a string because we I mean, we really want to just be passing um, Passing these things around, so it's fine. So we're going to pass the ID string and the dbus snippet 
oops, if I type it right, we are not storing anything. We're just calling it and getting back some sort of call result um, object effectively. You get a deep bus. Um, you get a call object back. Uh, so I check it for an error and then turn it, I guess. If it worked. Okay, so that is the call into the D-Bus. Now on the daemon side of things, we need to receive that. So back to D-Bus in the daemon, and we need an update. So I will take a copy of this. And we will do the transaction -y stuff and everything. Yeah, definitely. Add snippets are good start for this. Although I need to trim it down a little bit because we don't need all of that. I'm trying to work a bit fast here because I don't have a lot of time. So, before I have a stand up meeting, Stick that in there. We are returning just a D bus error this time. So start a transaction. Potentially fail with an error. Defer the rollback. Should there be an issue, then get potentially an error from calling snippets update ID, passing in. Ah, no. This is the wrong thing coming in, isn't it? Um, just like in... Um, I should be passing in a string and debus snippet. Because this is the receiver. So an ID as string and then snip it as a pointer to debus service snippet. So we're going to get a return if we're passing the right star. Ah. 
I've got to make an ID now, haven't I? Ugh. So I've got to make Yeah, so in the from uh, to snippet, we have to do this. So I'll need to do something slightly different there. Uh, now I need to rename that because that's going to clash with the package. So maybe just do that. So we we'll get a UID and we're going to do UID from string D. Potentially have an error and throw it back. If we don't, we want and um, we need to also need to snip it. equals snippet to snippet of course I need an error on that New. Okay. So we potentially get an error back. So nothing new. If we do, we return the error. Don't actually care about the result. We want to, if we get this far, commit the transaction. If that doesn't work, return the error. And otherwise we return nil to say it all went well. So let's just review. The dbus service daemon uh, receives a ID as a string and a snippet as a dbus snippet, which has like strings and um, time stamps as instead of dates um, it says okay begin the transaction if that doesn't work we fail out otherwise we will roll back should we have any problems we then get a proper UID from the string UID Uh, if that doesn't work, fail out. Update snippet. We need um, we need a proper snippet from converted from the D 
debus snippet. Again, fail out, should we have problems? Then we call the actual managers, uh, snippet managers, update snippet with ID, passing in the transaction, the proper UID, um, the updated snippet itself. Uh, and again, check for errors. If there aren't any, commit, make sure that commit works and then return nil. We should be good there. Okay. So that's the dbus side of things done. So we have a dbus endpoint. We have um, a client side caller of that, calling the update snippet with ID, passing in the ID as a string and a dbus snippet. Um, and that is specified in, he says, an interface so that both the client uh, CLI and the GUI have to have it. They have to be able to do that now. Um, not that the, the CLI currently calls it, but that's fine. Okay, so that's that done. And then in edit snippet, so I need to generate. So I need to add, he says, in the GUI, a call to that. So I am going to call all by using Where's a simple one? There isn't. Okay. We'll just nick out again. Update snippet with ID. We expect. Hmm. This is interesting. Is the JavaScript going to be able to pass? Yeah, we well, must be able to work with IDs. Our UIDs because we're already doing that with the get snippets. We're returning back a proper snippet with the UUID. So in theory we should be okay to use that. We will see in a minute. Don't know about that though. Hmm. This will be interesting. I'm not quite sure whether this will work the way I think it could work. Yeah, do that. No, we do that one, thanks. Right. And we are returning just an error. Or not. And we're going to call update snippet with ID. And I'm just going to call ID and snippet. I think that's okay.
Right, now, before I start fiddling with the front end, I need to do this because it will regenerate the bindings for me. Okay. So what that's done is by bringing up the dev server, it's um, had a look at the uh, that app.go. And in theory, it's created. If I just refresh this. Uh, where am I looking? Wales JS. Yeah. So in here, if I go to, I think, yeah. Here we should see, here we go. We've now got a function, a JavaScript function called update snippet with ID. It takes two arguments and then it passes them on to um, the app. So um, using the, the magic that is Wales. So what we need to do now is hook this up on the front end. So here, instead of using add snippet in the edit snippet screen, oops, wrong keystrokes there, we use update snippet with ID. So presumably that's just imported itself. It has, thank you very much. Uh, but here, we want to hmm. oh yeah because we're doing an error thing we can just do this we can update snip it with id um, and then pass in We're not editing the ID, so we can do snippet ID, he says, but we'll see if that works. And then the snippet itself. That could be interesting. So if it goes well, we pop back, we're done. Back to the list. Um, which will be interesting to see if it updates. I'm not sure it will. That's something I need to fix, I think. The list, but we'll, we'll see. So that's the handle save. Cancel will just pop. And then bound the snippet abbreviation in the snippet body to the snippet. So now we've got to do a couple of sort of housekeeping things. So I think I'm good to take these two out because we're just using the copied in effectively snippet. And then we've got a couple of things here we want to deal with. So here, update abbreviation error message. Now in this case, I want to pass in the whole snippet. So if it changes, then I want to do a test based on what's in the snippet, including the abbreviation and ID. So what we're going to do is when it changes, so it snippets to so the abbreviation has just changed. Um, we must have snippet abbreviation length. Mm. 
must have a connection. Now, abbreviation must not already exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in, we're going to do that test with the snippet and its abbreviation. Why is that complaining? Uh, what? It's right there. Why is that complaining? Oh, that's why. Because of this. It's probably confusing it there. Get snippet with um my existing snippet. If So if the existing snippet, oops, be paste has some property abbreviation and has a length greater than zero. And right, let's just clean this up so I can fit it in. And the existing snippet ID is not equal to the current snippets ID. Then we have a clash. And I've run out of time. No. Uh, Let's unhead it. I'll give it a, I'll just have to apologize. So update abbreviation message. Disable. Okay, so that should be okay. And, but I haven't got a point now of actually being able to call this. So, um, I'm kind of flying blind here. I've got all this changes, but I haven't actually got a screen to, to test it on. As such, what I need is... Let's do a quick um, in the list. Just do a quickie here. If we do I've got a dispatch. Oh, that is a dispatch. So let's do this. Let's just do a quick. If the focused item is greater than zero and the focused item is the pit's zipper length. And event key equals is it arrow right? Yeah, I hope so. Let's do that. 
then we'll do handle item dip. Which is going to be this it's different. Pass the snippet. that and then in the list snippets we'll catch that um, Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more time on that. Because I need oh I've done the wrong thing. Yeah, I need to use the ID. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend a bit more time on that. I would rather pass in it, pass in as a root to keep the separation rather than embedding a component, which is what I was doing there. Okay, so here, um, Right, so what I'm going to do, I'll put a to-do thing here before we go. clear To do change edit screen to take param from Okay, a little reminder to what I've got to do next, but I've run out of time. So, um, I can't keep on going. So, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to have to do is um, make it so that I can go to the edit screen by going to that root, passing in the ID of the snippet, and then the screen will go get to the snippet. Um, and then do the edits and stuff there. 
I just want to keep a little bit of separation there. Otherwise, I could, I could maybe add a, a like another if block here and all this kind of stuff and um and you know put a edit component effectively in the same screen, but then it starts to get a bit messy when I could be going to a different route, um, which would be a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to work with, I think, in the end. So we'll do that. Um, but I've run out of time. So that's that really. Until tomorrow. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Um, you take care.